hello in this tutorial i want to show you how you can easily color grade your raw outdoor photos in photoshop in camera raw or even in lightroom if at all you have lightroom and you could also follow the same steps when it comes to capture one but capture one may not be having that kind of calibration tool as we're about to see in this very tutorial so you can see you're going to get the image from looking like this you can see it was lacking colors and you just want to make it pop to looking like this so this is the before and after that we are going to be achieving in this very tutorial so i'm just going to simply come and reset the image to the default so that we can understand how we can easily process color grade raw outdoor images and recover information in the sky remember when you shoot in raw you have the ability to recover any blown out information as long as it was slightly captured by your camera when you're shooting and you can see in the after we tend it to simply get back the information within the sky as i showed you in the after image that we're going to be achieving so this is the image straight out of out of my camera and i use the canon 6d camera and i'm using camera row 12.4 it is a slightly older version but i usually prefer to use this so when it comes to processing raw files the very first thing that you have to do is first of all correcting the lighting and contrast issues regarding the image and usually always make sure to get your subject exposed properly when you're shooting in maybe in the studio or even outdoors so that you have less work to do when it comes to processing the images so let's first of all start so the very first thing i'm going to do i'm just simply going to come to my exposure and simply take down the exposure slightly because it looked a little bit overexposed so since i want to get back the information in the brightest areas of this image which is the highlights i'll simply come and take the highlight slider down and you can see this helps me recover information you can see this is the before and this is the african set you can now see the details within the sky and in order to make that better i'm just going to get back more information within the whites and that makes the sky better in this case so after i have done this I'll simply come and add contrast to the image around 10 is okay and always make sure you shoot images in a warm white balance because when you shoot them in a warm white balance i prefer to shoot between 4800 to around 5500 because it helps me capture warmer skin tones but if i if at all you shoot or you shot in raw you can always come to the temperature slider and adjust it accordingly so after doing that i'm just going to come to the blacks and simply take the black slider down to add more contrast to the image so after i've handled this i usually don't handle the texture clarity and the hair sliders in camera or even or even lightroom and i don't handle the or i don't tamper with the vibrance option and saturation because i'm just going to use the calibration tool in camera to correct that so let's look at it before and after so far and now the image looks better so we're going to come down to where it says the color mixer and under color mixer we have the hso panel which is hue saturation and luminance so let me first of all explain for you what these basically do so let's first of all start with luminance luminance is the brightness of a given color so it is more of how bright or how dark you want a given color to be for instance if i told you wanted the oranges to be dark by taking down the orange slider we're going to be making the oranges dark and by taking up the slider it is going to make the oranges in the image bright so that is how luminance works and we're going to come to saturation saturation is how intense or the intensity of a given color you can decide to desaturate a color or you can decide to increase on the intensity of that color by taking up the saturation slider of a given color and that color is going to be affected individually then we have hue basically hue is one of the most confusing tools when it comes to camera raw and in the hue option or in the hue slider these colors work hand in hand when it comes to the hue slider for example if at all i am to hue for example the oranges in this case and I take the orange slider towards the left hand side you can notice that the oranges are going to be looking reddish and if at all I do the opposite it's going to make the oranges look yellowish 
So how the hue slider basically works? When you're moving the slider of a given color under the hues towards your left hand side, you are going to make that color look like a color on top of it, which is the red color. And when you're moving it towards the right hand side, you're going to be making it look like a color that is below it. So that is how the hue slider works within the camera raw filter or even Lightroom. So after understanding that, we're just going to first of all make the sky pop and it is going to stand out in this case. So just want to get back the information in the sky by darkening the sky because I feel like the sky is a little bit overexposed for our liking. So we're going to come to the luminous option in the camera filter and simply target the blues of this image. And by taking down the slider of the blues, you can see that we get more information within the sky. So we we'll just take that down a little bit. Around negative 53, we get back information. And now you can see that the information in the sky has been recovered and it looks great. So after you have done that, we're just going to come straight to our saturation. But since we want the sky to pop a little bit, we are going to come right here to the blues and simply take up the saturation of the blue slider and it is going to, don't take it all that because it is going to look a little bit awkward and it is going to create those kind of artifacts around the edges. So don't exceed around 58, it looks okay. And now you can see how the sky is now popping and you have information within the sky. So after that, doing that, we're just going to come straight to the hues. So depending on the colors that you want to adjust in the images, you can play around with the sliders to see what works best for you. So we're going to come to the hues. So if at all, so for my case, I feel like I have a little bit of reds within the oranges, for example, the neck area. So I'm just going to come and make the oranges a little bit more on the yellow slider. Or oh, I'll make the oranges yellowish. Remember, moving the slider towards the right hand side, you are making the oranges more yellowish. And that eliminates the redness within the oranges right here. And I'll do, as, I'll do the same for the reds by making the reds a little bit more on the orange side. And that makes the skin better or look better in this case. So this is our before and after, before and after. So we are not yet done. So after dealing with the color mixer tool, we are going to come to the most powerful tool that is going to make the images pop when it comes to camera or even Lightroom processing of raw files. And that is the calibration tool within the camera raw or even Lightroom. So we're going to come to the saturation of the blue primary. And when we take up the saturation, you are going to notice that it is going to make the blues richer. But the disadvantage of doing or taking it all the way up is going to make it look unnatural and it's going to make you look like a newbie out there. So just do a little bit of it. So I'm going to slightly hue the blues up to around negative 12. Then since doing this affects also a skin tone, you're going to come the saturation slider right here and simply take the reds a little bit up just like that to make the skin pop a little bit and you can also come to the saturation and simply take down the saturation slightly so you can even take the blue primary slider down a little bit to make the sky look a little bit more of the orange and teal look but the more you take it towards the left hand side is going to make the sky or the skin tones even look red so when you do this and you feel like the skin is getting a little bit reddish, simply come the hues and simply take up the hues to to counter or eliminate the redness from the skin. And you can always take down the saturation to the one of your liking. So when you feel like the saturation of the oranges are too much, you have the liberty to come down or to come back to the saturation of the oranges and simply take down or reduce on the saturation of the orange color that is affecting the skin tone so negative fine looks negative five looks great for me and let me show you a quick before and after for just this in camera row so this is the image before and after before and after just look at how we have been able to transform this image and if at all you feel like you still have shadows in the image simply come the shadows 
and open up the shadows slightly and that is going to make the image look better so this is it for this video and if at all you have learned a thing or two from this video don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you not sub if at all you have been watching and you not yet subscribe this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching and seeing yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating